Hello, and welcome to a concept review video for CSCI 2824, Discrete Structures. Today, I'll be going over an easier way to solve multiple choice problems involving finding the closed form solution to recurrence relations. You've seen a couple problems where you've been given a recurrence relation and then multiple options for what the closed form solution could be. We know that one way to solve this problem would be take, to take the recurrence relation and plug it back into itself until finding a pattern. However, when faced with a multiple choice problem, there's actually an easier way to go about this. First thing what I like to do is solve out for the first few terms of the, of the relation. So let's solve for those. Firstly, a of one. a of one equals two, a of zero, plus one, minus two. This equals two times one, plus one minus two, which equals one. Now let's solve for a of two. a of two equals two a of one plus two minus two. This equals two times one plus zero, which equals two. And finally, let's solve for a of three. a of three equals two a of two plus three minus two. This equals four plus one, which equals five. Now to find the correct recur the correct, correct closed form solution, we can just try these solutions with one of our values to see if they work. For example, let's try the solution a of n equals n factorial. If we plug in a of 3, we'll get a of 3 equals 3 factorial, which equals 3 times 2 times 1, or 6. 6 is not equal to 5, so that can't be a solution. Let's try 4n minus 3 to the n. a of 3 would be 12 minus 3 cubed, which equals 12 minus 27, or negative 15. Again, negative 15 definitely isn't 5, so this can't be a solution either. Now, let's try a of n equals 2 to the n minus n. With a of 3, we'll end up getting 2 cubed minus 3, which equals 8 minus 3, which equals 5. Here, we see that we got the same sol solution as we got when we just did the recurrence relation out step by step. This means that this must be our correct closed form solution. When you're going through multiple choice problems, this is a much easier way to solve for closed form solutions and recurrence relations. Thanks for watching and good luck.